working, but it will double our concrete output. Board. It is a very pretty board. It'll take a while for that to get over here. trees. I said no trees. Is that limestone? Cool, cool, cool. We, yep, there's a concrete right there. This is kind of goofy looking. Can we just walk up this though? Can we just replace this with foundations? We can! Ah. Oops, I need to take that one out. But it's gonna be goofy because it's not gonna match up correctly with this. This is more harder than I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> uh, I don't have like the corner pieces I'm locked through the awesome shop. We're well fine under the power limit, so we don't have to worry about too much about that for a while. Concrete. Not a whole lot in there, huh? Yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get the platforms or the foundations in this area. That's going to be kind of tough. Guess we just kind of have to integrate the dune into our foundation. Always missing concrete. While we wait for the concrete to build up, can we work on this milestone? We can. We have a lot of iron. I don't have it on me right now, but we have a lot of iron. We have a ton of iron. I think our iron storage is full. Can we make a bunch of cables? Oh, we can make them. Oh, you know what we do have? We have uh, wires automated, so I can go grab wires. That's pro yeah, it's full. Oh, it's not even connected to power. Oh, no. And I'm missing cables. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Should be a bunch of wires in here, though. We'll go make cables, then we can connect it back up to the power grid. No wonder our power grid's so low. Do we move so slow without the, without the Blade Runners? Cables. Hmm. 
Let's hook those back up to the power grid. Yeah, it's not center. That's gonna bug me. There we go. There you go. Now it's connected to the power grid. Cool, cool, cool. This not, that's not even connected to the power grid either. Wire's too long. Really? Oh, here. <laughs> now the iron production's resumed. Cool. Until we move it. Uh, we needed to make, what, iron plates? We need to make a bunch of iron plates for uh, the milestone. What do we need for rotors? We can't even actually... Oh, we can make rotors by hand. Okay. I am turning this desert into a factory paradise. Bit by bit, concrete by concrete. It will slowly turn into a factory paradise. <laughs> what do we need? We need 294. It's gonna be a little bit. Let's hydrate. Delicious water. Can't go wrong with water. Water bad? No, 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 no. Water is good. I drink so much water every day. <laughs> I go through like an entire Brita tank of water every day. It's like four. Four liters of water. It's like a gallon of water every day. They said I was hydrated. I got a horrible disease from drinking water. Okay. Don't be blaming the water now. Make more cables. We're just doing this in the meantime while our concrete stores fill up. How much do we need? We need, what, 60 cables? We're gonna make more because we need more. Just to keep in our pocket for making uh, wire connections and stuff like that. There's no way you got a bad disease from drinking water. <laughs> Unless you're drinking, like, diseased water. Yes. What do you mean, yes? I got hydration. <laughs> huh? Oh, we're missing uh, rotors. Who do you need to make rotors? Screws. A bunch of screws. Okay. How many screws we need? 25 per. Excuse me, that is a lot. It's almost time to make the screw factories again. We can only make eight rotors. Oh my god.
Oh, the road road is going down because we need rods to make rotors. <laughs> oh boy. That's right. We'll make all the screws, then we'll make more rods. Look at the ro rotor number go up. <laughs> Need more iron. Oops. Let's grab these nuts. We need a nice stockpile of nuts so we can always heal ourselves. We're all just doing this in the meantime for the concrete production to kind of catch up because we are heavily limited by concrete at the moment for our plans of covering the dunes and foundations. that rotor number go up actually it won't go up anymore because we need more screws no we do need a lot of rods though solid biofuel i guess i do have a bunch of leaves and wood on me we can just deposit that in the biomass uh, production line. Oh, we need a lot of screws. <laughs> wow, we, we need a lot. Alright, let's pause the leaves in here. Boop, boop. We need the logs in here. Wow, we're actually out of logs? Really? Wow. But we have a lot of sol solid biofuel in here. A lot. <laughs> can I deposit? Oh, I can deposit that. Cool. Yeah, we have a lot of solid, solid biofuel. This will last us until, like, the next power generation, which is huge. As soon as we can get off of biofuel generation, uh, we're gonna take it, <laughs> to say the least. All right, now we're gonna make progress towards moving the iron production on foundations. Oops, not that one. There you go. Watch how fast this concrete goes away by <laughs> with my construction. Oops. These are one meters, right? Oops. Let's go. Oh, can you go down? Can you please go down? Go, cool, cool. concrete <laughs> we're already out man oh that's all right that's all right we just need three blocks wide for the highway so one two and three and then those are going to be the highway so then okay, let's put it like a marker can i put like a marker like a wall 
that. That will serve as our marker. Anything past that's iron production. It should be fine. That should be fine. So then we'll move the iron production towards this way and then we'll make can't crap a hand too. Uh go check. It's gonna be rods, screws, and plates, I think, for the basic production. Yep, so iron plates, rods, screws, and then rips. Screws are sort of a limiting factor for the rotors. You can make more as we wait for concrete to be produ produced. I can't believe I've already been playing this game for almost five hours. This game just is a time sink. <laughs> time flies by playing this game. We can make half the rotors we need now. This is gonna start eating into the ro or a rod supply. So the numbers, as soon as that number starts going, yep, it's going down now. We need more rods then. We actually need more plates too. We only have eight plates. Obviously, you can do this a lot different. Everyone plays this game differently, but. If I was playing this without trying to get this all on foundations right away, we'd be like two or three tiers ahead or milestones ahead at this point. Just because I'd have pretty much all plates, rods and screws automated, but I'm trying to make it look neat ish. Like I want I want this sand desert dune to look like a, like a city, essentially. Each skyscraper is going to be a production building of its own. So a building for iron plates, a building for iron rods, a building for screws, stuff like that, right? Obviously, first, it's going to be... Ooh, actually, no, because iron ingots is used to make plates and rods. And then iron ingots isn't used for anything else for now. So we can automate plates and rods first. And then the rod building will be going into the screw building. Okay. There's going to be a lot of uh, changes throughout our playthrough here. But I do want this to look more of a cityscape than our update 8 playthrough. Our update 8 playthrough, we did like a mega factory and then we started building dedicated mini factories for parts. Which was good, it was good. But then it started to get really spaghetti as it went on. So we're trying to avoid that as much as we can. I mean, you can't completely avoid spaghettification of factories. Because it's just, as it goes on, it inherently gets harder and harder. With more parts of manufacture, more scale, uh, upscaling of basic parts like screws, rods, and plates, and stuff like that. But I, what I am imagining is, like I said, the cityscape. So we'll have a building that is dedicated to screws, and if we need more, we just add a floor on top that produces more. And of course, with screws, we'll need to increase the verticality of our rod production. So eventually, we're just gonna have like skyscrapers dedicated to <laughs> basic parts. We're almost actually at 50 rotors. As soon as that number starts going down again, we'll switch to rods. But like, we're almost at the 50 rotors needed for this milestone. Are we gonna hit it before we hit the rod max? Oh, are we? That's 50 rotors, baby. That's 50 rotors, let's go! 
We still don't have like anything automated besides like concrete and wires. <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there. Dude, my hair is getting so long now. You can't really tell because I have it slicked back with my uh, headphones on. But like, you can tell. Like, it's longer-ish. But to keep it out of my face, I slick it back when I'm streaming. Now it's all messed up. I also hooked up my other stream deck too. I have two stream decks now. I have my stream deck XL and then I have my stream deck, the original stream deck. So now I have like a shit ton of buns. Like a lot. All right, cool, we finished that. Ada? Oh, there Milestone it is. Milestone reached. The Fixit jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal and an ideal travel experience. How cinematic is that Clarification. with the moon? Ideal travel experience not guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. And we have this, the Milestone Logics Logistics Mark II. Which we're pretty much gonna skip because Mark II belts are more expensive than Mark III. Cool longer, yeah. Gonna keep growing it out until I don't even know. To be honest, we're just gonna keep growing it out. Same with the beard. I might end up going to a barber and getting it shaped up for the beard, but I'm not planning on shaving it off. If I do end up shaving it off, it's going to be essentially like looking like that. But I think that's only during the summer months. During the winter, I'll let it grow out. All right, I think we can technically move the iron production on total. Oh, God, that's going to fill up my inventory if I picked it up. Can I clear any of my inventory in here, or is it all necessary items? It's all pretty necessary. I mean, I can drop off some of the solid biofuel in here. Sometimes. Copper ingots I can toss out. I still think that's gonna flood my inventory. Look at the sky box. This game is beautiful. Given you guys are getting it downscaled at 1080p, but I'm seeing it in 4K and it's it looks great. And you can see my FPS in the over in the top right over there. I'm at like 90 to 100 FPS. All right, all right, we're moving iron production over. Yep, that flooded my inventory, <laughs> as expected. We can toss that iron over. Oop. Picked up more there. This desert's kind of spooky, you know. You can see, like, or you, you can hear the ambience. Spooky. We're gonna have to blow that up because there is a slug in there, but we also have to blow it up because it's gonna be in our way. How are we gonna do this? It's gonna be at least probably gonna be a four. Because once we blow that up, it'll be fine with a four. Missing iron plates, really? Okay.
Oh, welcome back, Dad. We shouldn't have to make iron plates after this update that I do. Raider re-entry. Welcome back, Dad. We'll stop at 100. This should hold us over for a while. So the iron production is going over here. So we need to replace this miner. I don't know how... We're not going to be able to do foundations over this, I don't think. But we're going to go around it, essentially. Alright, this is doing 60 per minute, right? Yeah, because it's a normal ore. So that is two smelters here. Need a splitter. Oh, and we need power over here, which it's already over here, thankfully. And it should be going now, right? I hear it. There it is. Alright, so then this will do 30 per minute iron ingots. So then we need like a crafter. Make plates, which is gonna be 30 per minute, so it's gonna eat up all of one. Come on. Snap to it, you. It's kind of goofy looking, but alright. It's gonna make plates as well. How's our power looking? It should be mighty fine. Yes, it is. Cool, 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 cool. Organization storage container. We'll need a merger. That's too close. Steep, huh? Shoot. Guess we'll do it up here then. That, and then have a merger on it. There you go, and then I'll make plates. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We got plates automated. Next, we need rods. Where's the other iron ore? There's another one right over here. All right, cool. Right here. It's a normal. Okay, that works. I'll have it going that way. When you expand this, do I have? I don't have a whole lot of concrete. Oops, is that a two? We need more concrete. Concrete. We need more concrete. Oh, 
Hopefully it's made a decent amount of concrete, at least 200. Still a bunch of solid, solid biofuel, nice. Not even 200, damn. Not a lot of concrete, but we make do. We're out of plates. Oops. We need more plates. Oh, speaking of that, we actually made, we're making out of automated plates. Where's this go? Six. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna have to crest over this. Out of concrete. And then over here, we're gonna have rod production. Needs to be smelted. That's a normal, so we need two smelters. We can steal from that one. Should be up here. Power that. Then this will go down here. Missing concrete. God. Can I make concrete? No. <laughs> concrete, please. I should have guessed that concrete would be my deciding factor when producing all these foundations. Oh, we have one? Oh, I put down another miner. Resource nodes are infinite. Imagine if they weren't. The hell's this email I just got? Yeah, that is spam. how you unlock overclocking is it 
with the slugs in the ma'am? Wait, remember. Do I not? I don't, I don't have the ma'am built. I think he'll grab a slug. Maybe that's what it is. We have a lot of slugs in the swamp here. The oasis, whatever you want to call it. Alright, slug, you are mine. Ada, tell me more. This semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fix-it production line efficiency. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. I will do just that. Thank you, Ada. I will be doing just that. Hello, ma'am. Power slugs. All right, Ada. Tell me more. This semi-slug, now dubbed power slug, is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. I see. Alright Ada, tell me more about overclocking. Overclocking development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. Not true. It is not exponential. Close, but it's not exponential. Can we actually scan for slugs now? I think that's what the item finder. There is a bunch of slugs in this place, so I'm gonna go find them. Little big guy. What? What? It's attacking me. blue one over here if we can overclock the impures to normals for the especially the concrete that'll be huge hello spitter meet your demise oh. Sphere. Follow the things to the altar and chant. I don't like how they talk to me like that. Another blue one up there. That's in like the bug area. I should be able to snatch it and run. Uh, these berries in my hand. You should be able to run in, grab it, and run out. Go! 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 Good. Oh, 
there's more. Blue up there. A lot of bees. Another copper node there. But there was a yellow in here, isn't there? A yellow in here? I saw it earlier. Like when you get damage, it says damage to fix a property detected. I'm just property. Did I grab the yellow already? I thought there was one in here. Take our concrete. We do love concrete. Never get enough of it, apparently, at this stage. We have four blues, and that'll help. Make them here. Again. Forty-five per minute. Now it's maxed out. Um, oh, this is maxed out. I swear there was a yellow one in here that I saw earlier, but I don't know what it was. Let's overcollect this other concrete producer. There we go. Now it's maxed out for that crafter. We have how much concrete now? 376. Nice. <laughs> Are those not powered over there? Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Forgot the power of these. Take from that power up there. iron plates. Well, guess what? We got those automated over here. <laughs> We're gonna have to adjust this for the incline, but... So now we can do iron rods, which is 15 minutes. So we can do two on each of these smelters. By Opal, by Opal.
Now we'll make us a bunch of rods. Not powered? What the? Double storage because is going to be messy here in a second. Oh, these aren't the double stacks. Shoot. We'll do it like that. <laughs> Not the best looking, but... I'll make a bunch of rods for us. How much is it? Is it 45 per minute? 15 per minute rods. So we have 60 per minute rods right now. Is this not powered? Oh. There we go. So we're making plates and rods right now. Plates are over there, rods right here. Very nice. I have a double buffered until we can uh, get the double stack storage. Once we get double stack storage, we can just replace these both with just one. Cool, we're sitting pretty nice right now. Let's go fill up the milestone and get this completed, I think. Rods and rips. Rips are gonna be a little bit, bit of a pain. Need a bunch of screws which require a bunch of rods. We'll make rods by hand while the rod production fills up. Because we need rods for this milestone, so. The rods for the milestone will come from the production, I think. And then the rods that I'm making by hand will be translated into screws, which will translate into reinforced plates. Zach, I see that you hit the 100% in Red Dead 2. Congrats. You're here. Congrats. Only 2% of people in Red Dead have reached 100% completion on PC. That is crazy. That is insane to go for 100% <laughs> in Red Dead 2 because you have to do a lot of tedious challenges. Now you do 100% on another save. <laughs> do it again. We have to make a lot of screws for these rips. How many do we need? We need 50 rips. We're at 26. Oh, 
Oh, now we're limited by our rods, I think. Or no, plates. We're limited by plates right now for plate, uh, rips. Get more plates. Get more plates until this number stops going up. And then we'll go back to screws. And so on. And hopefully by the time we complete making rips, our production line for rods should have 300. I hope. It's 60 per minute rods right now. That's our production line. Number stopped going up. And 50 rips. It'll take a minute to craft, but we're doing this all by hand right now. Obviously, it'd be a lot faster probably to automate it and then just work on other stuff in the meantime while it crafts, but I'm not too worried about logistics Mark II because Mark II belts are stupidly expensive compared to Mark III. Because once you start getting steel production going, uh, Mark III belts are a lot cheaper. Like, really, really cheaper than Mark II's, which is dumb, but... I guess that's the way it's intended, maybe? I don't know. I feel like Mark II belts should be cheaper than Mark III's, but Mark II's require rips for each one. Each belt segment. Kind of crazy. Whereas Mark III's require just like a steel beam. All right, let's go see if we made enough rods now. that over here? Is that cold? Caterium? Looks like Caterium. Oh, it's iron. We don't really need this anymore. We'll get it out of the way, though. Alright, how are the rods going over here? We need a hundred and... or two hundred and... sixteen. We got that. <laughs> oh, I love the power of automation. How sweet is thy. Our biofuel production's emptied out right now, but we have a lot of solid biofuel, hopefully to last us to coal production. Because this container should essentially be almost full. Yeah. There we go. Ada? Milestone reached. Fix it would like to remind Godspeed. you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. On the list. Stay efficient. Don't disappoint. Fix it. What list? What list? Okay. So, <laughs> so now is the space elevator. To continue, we need to make the space elevator, which is obviously huge. 500 concrete, 250 plates, 400 rods, and 1,500 wire. We have the wire. We will have the rod shortly. Plates we have. Concrete is going to be the deciding factor there. So we need three stacks of wire here. Boop, boop. Uh, 
All right, I don't think we have the rods right now, but we will shortly. How much do I have on me? I have too many iron ingots on me. Rods, you gotta be close to... Oh, I took a bunch out, so you probably don't have... You're close, you're close. About another minute and we'll have enough rods. Plates, we have plates. Concrete, that's another story. It has been a minute since I checked the concrete after overclocking it though, so. Maybe? But I will need extra plates and concrete to make the platform for the space elevator, so. Gotta take that into account. Is my concrete in there? Nice. You might be able to craft enough concrete. Hello, Borb. Give us enough concrete for the space elevator, but like I said, we need more. Just need to re up my water. enough to, for the space elevator now. We have enough rods too, I just need to go pick them up. Man, I really need those Blade Runners to run fast. of all the machines in this game they did such a good job with it like the miners will continually dig down with more rods for the depth it's so cool there we go we got everything for the space elevator we just need more concrete Probably pick up some plates here as well. Because we need to make the foundation for the space elevator. I'll put the space elevator over that way. Over yonder. I'm afraid it's gonna eat up all of our concrete. Did I grab all that? Good. Okay. Welcome back, Dad. I didn't even know you were gone. I thought you were already back. Slug right there. Hiding from me, huh? Okay, 
Great. No! Probably build a space elevator and then I will probably go for the night because I need to get ready for bed. There we go. We got enough. Probably move it as well. This is not going to be an optimal lo location for it. But I want to see the new animation. Apparently there's new animation. Or maybe it's when you complete tiers. Commencing project assembly. Yeah, this is just a temple occasion just to watch it. Love watching all the shit just fly out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Drop it down. Here it comes. And we are connected. There we go. Space silver completed. Ada? Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the Project Assembly orbital platform. Project Assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore, and exploit. There you go, that's it what the CAE means. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fix-It down. Aye aye, Ada. I will do my best. Look at that. Beautiful marvel of humanity. There you go. Perfect. All right. That's it for me tonight, chat.